Hello, welcome to Escape the Box Piano. It's Dan here. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the piano line to Robin Hood, a lovely song uh, released in 2018 by Anson Siabra. First of all, here's how it sounds. So you can see this song is beautiful in its simplicity. There are only four chords in the entire thing, uh, and yet it's such a, a brilliant song. Uh, looking at the top line details, this is in C sharp minor and the tempo is 78, so that's the speed to set your metronome. And if we take a look at the structure, we've effectively got four chords in the same order the whole way through. C sharp minor seven, then an A with an add nine, E major, and then kind of like a G sharp minor seven chord, um, occasionally with a sixth that then resolves down to the fifth or just hangs there, depending where you are in a piece. In terms of the teach then, there's really not a huge amount to say. You just kind of know whether you're holding a chord still or whether you are 
repeating in the right hand whilst holding down a pedal note in the left hand. Let's take a look at the beginning. Well, we'll go through hands separately. So, middle C, right hand. At the beginning, so this is the um, C sharp minor seven chord, but um, here we're just gonna play E in the right hand and hold it down for four counts. The next chord is gonna be A with a B and then an E, those three notes, hold those down for four counts. And then your E major chord is B, E and G sharp, hold those three notes down for four counts. And then the G sharp minus seven, so B, E and F sharp. Uh, technically this is the kind of sixth that kind of hangs there in the chord. So we're gonna play those three notes and just again, hold those down for four counts. The next four bars are virtually identical. The only thing that happens in the next chord is as well as the E, you have a, a B that sounds out underneath it. So play those two notes together. Then A, B and E. B, E and G sharp. And then again, B, E and F sharp. Underneath that, in the left hand, again, middle C, so let's go down the octave, get your fifth finger on the C sharp, thumb on the G sharp. Play that and hold it for four. Then we move down to A and E, play that, hold for four. Okay, keep your thumb on the E, stretch your fifth finger down to the octave E, play that, hold it for four. and then move your hands up to G sharp and G sharp. Hold that for four. And the next four bars are identical. Putting those two hands together. The eight bars that you have just learned are literally the eight bars of verse one. The next thing that happens is a pre-chorus and then we go into chorus one. The pre-chorus starts moving, so those chords that you play in the right hand, it's the same chords, it's just instead of holding them down for four counts, you play them one count uh, four times in each measure or bar. And uh, it's the same, it's pretty much the same pattern in, in the left hand. Occasionally at the end of a bar, you'll repeat uh, one of the notes um, on the offbeat of the, fourth, uh, of the fourth count of the measure. Let's take a look at what this means in real terms for the first pre-chorus. Here's the first chord again. So just play the right hand four times. One, two, three, four. The next bar, move your left hand down to the A and E. We're gonna thin the A add nine chord out, just leave out, leave out the A, just play the B and the E and play that four times. Hold the A and the E down in the left hand. One, two, three, four. And then repeat the A down here on the off beat. And then we immediately go to the next chord Leave out the octave E, so just play the E with your thumb and you've got your B, E and G sharp. Play that four times. And then on the off beat, play the E again. And then the G sharps and the B, E, F sharp. Play that twice. Now that E is gonna disappear, it's gonna resolve down to the D sharp, so B, 
D sharp, F sharp once. And then we're going to get that E back again, the B and the E. And then the top G sharp on the off beat. And then the cycle starts again. first two counts of this measure. Again, the E's going to disappear now. We're going to hold down B, D sharp and F sharp for two counts. And then you're into chorus one. Chorus one is identical to verse one in the sense that the chords are static for each measure. The only difference is on the G sharp minor seven, you're going to play that, but then after two counts, one, two, take your third finger off the E, put your second finger on the D sharp, and hold that down for two counts. So, one, two, three, four. And then at the end of the chorus, there's then like a two bar link on C sharp minor. And into the next verse. I'm gonna fast forward now through the rest of the structure. Verse two uh, moves. The pre-chorus also moves. The next chorus, uh, again, like the first chorus, the chords are held. The eighth bar of chorus two, just hold that E, don't resolve it down to the D sharp, just let it hang. And then the two bar link. We've then got an eight bar bridge section. Again, it's the same four chords twice round. It moves. And then finally, chorus three. Let's take a look at that now. The only thing that we need to think about with chorus three is register. It's the same four chords. We're just gonna play them an octave up. So from where you were around middle C here, you're gonna bring your left hand up to around middle C and your right hand comes up here. So it's the same chords, C sharp, G sharp, B, E. Down to A, E, and then A, B, E. Keep the E in the left hand, B, E, G sharp. Two G sharps here and B, E, F sharp. You're gonna resolve that E down to the D sharp halfway through the bar. You get that cycle once more. This time don't resolve the E, just hold it for the full measure. And then finally we are gonna finish on that C sharp minor um, seven chord and that's gonna hang there until it fades out. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please do like the video, leave some comments, let me know what you'd like to see a tutorial for next. Subscribe to the channel so you can get more of this kind of stuff. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.